Today we're gonna to give Pistachio her very first bath. When preparing for our very first bath time, it is important to make sure that we have both prepared our horse and prepared our facility so that we have the most success and best bath time possible. When we're talking about preparing our horse for bath time, it's important to make sure that they know how to wear a halter, that they lead really well, that they know how to give to pressure, and that they can tie really well. If you want to learn more about these skills, we've actually made videos on each one of them. If you'd like to watch them, check out the video links in the description below. One more important skill is that the horse knows what it's like to be desensitized to scary objects. I'm going to use a towel today because that mimics as closely as I can get to water. So the towel, we just want to make sure that as we toss it over her, she's not scared of it. She knows that whatever I'm flopping on her isn't going to hurt her. She's going to be okay. The towel really wraps around their entire body, their legs, um, their back and everything. And that's as close as I could come to water because once that water gets on her, she's going to feel it all over her belly, all over her legs, all over her back, and she's not going to be able to get away from it. So I just want to make sure that she's happy and comfortable with me flopping things on her that are not going to hurt her. The next thing we want to consider is making sure that the place we're going to be bathing is safe. We just moved to a new location and we don't have a proper wash rack set up quite yet, but we still want to make sure that the footing, the place that the horse is going to be standing on is as safe as possible, that the tie rail that we're going to be tying to is also as safe as possible. The hose, whatever we're using for our water is coming in in a safe way so the horse won't get tangled up in that hose. I also want to make sure that I've set out all of my tools ahead of time so that the horse doesn't have to stand there and wait for me to get my act together. So I have my bucket, my brushes, my soap, everything is out and ready for us. Now we're going to start the bath part. It's really important to desensitize your horse to the spray of water first. Uh, we want to start down at the feet. Then we want to work our way up the body as the horse is comfortable and happy with the water. Pistachio here is not very comfortable or happy with the water. That's okay. Sometimes I actually have to untie a horse and walk them away. So Pistachio, we had to untie, walk to a different location where it was safe for her to walk and uh, even kind of trot and run around while I kept that stream of water on her feet until she decided to stand still and relax. Once she was deciding to stand still and relax with that stream of water on her feet, I'm able to go ahead and move my way up her body and get her all wet. As soon as it's safe, I can bring her back to the wash rack and it's safe to continue our bath from there. Now we're going to go ahead and introduce our bucket with soapy water. I like to use a brush because she's already used to the feeling of being brushed. I'm going to dip my brush into the water, get it nice and sudsy, and then just go ahead and brush her and kind of scrub her hair to make sure that we're getting as much of the dirt out as possible. This is her first bath. I'm not concerned with getting her completely spotless. Our focus with pistachio's bath today is to really get her used to having suds all over her body to really get her used to the water dripping down the sides of her legs and her body. We're not gonna worry about her face. We're not gonna worry about under her tail or up on her flank where she might be super sensitive and not enjoy cold water today. We just wanna make sure that the majority of her body gets clean, that she is used to the majority of her body being covered in water. And just as we had the towel flopping all over her, now we've got water all over her and she can stand relaxed and happy with that. Thanks so much for watching our video on washing a Mustang for the very first time. As you can see, sometimes it doesn't always go perfectly in the way we had hoped or planned, but she ended up happy, clean, quiet, and it's a great day.